The right-of-way is one of Portland's most important assets. Companies make billions off of it, and it brings in about $86 million each year for the city. Hang on a minute. The right of what? The right of way. The public right of way is the land from sidewalk to sidewalk, above, below, and on the surface of our streets. It's where utilities like water, gas, electricity, and communications are run throughout the city, and how we all get around by foot, bike, or vehicle. If you add up all the right of way in Portland, it's about 20% of the city, and almost half of the downtown area. All of this land is owned by the public, and the city manages the right-of-way on the public's behalf. The right-of-way is also a place for commerce. Utilities like water, gas, electricity, cable, and wireless service providers all use the right-of-way. It's a necessary component of their business. This is where they install equipment like pipes, cables, utility poles, antennas, and other technology. Utilities often need to dig below the surface of the roadway, which can impact traffic, tear up the streets and sidewalks, and in turn, create hazards for pedestrians, bicyclists, and drivers. It's vital that someone manage the right-of-way to ensure commercial users cause as little disruption as possible and to repair ongoing wear and tear. This is where the Portland Bureau of Transportation comes in. PBOT manages ongoing daily commercial uses and special requests to dig, build, and transport things in the right-of-way. Wait. Is this video about Peabot? No, I mean, Peabot is super cool, but that's a different video. So hang on. How do utilities and communications businesses get the okay to put all their stuff in the right of way in the first place? And if that's our land they're digging up and installing equipment in, shouldn't they pay rent? This is where the Office for Community Technology comes in. Yay! The Office for Community Technology, OCT for short, establishes the city's rules that allow access to the right-of-way. Utilities and communications businesses must agree to follow these rules and pay rent to install their equipment in the right-of-way. So what does that make OCT, the right-of-way landlord or something? Kind of. OCT navigates federal, state, and local laws that provide regulatory oversight of these businesses. OCT creates and advocates for policies that support the needs of the city and community members. OCT also makes sure that these businesses play nice with one another, ensuring each business has equitable access to the right-of-way and that fees and terms are applied consistently to support a competitive business environment. OCT's management of the right-of-way ultimately benefits the entire Portland community. Remember, the rent paid by utility and communications businesses to install equipment in the public right-of-way brings in about $86 million each year. It's the third largest source of general fund revenue for the city. Portland uses this money to provide its residents and businesses with services like a safe and accessible right-of-way for commuting, public safety, city planning, and parks. Oh, so OCT provides a lot of regulatory oversight for the right-of-way. But wait, I've heard that regulation can really slow things down. No, no, no. Regulatory oversight is a very important part of our government. Without it, there would be chaos. Imagine how slow your commute would be if all of the utilities dug up the streets at once. Now that would really slow things down. Yeah, but what about progress? Don't we need to, you know, win the war on 5G or something? Yes, exactly. And OCT focuses on thoughtful progress that balances the needs of utilities with the needs of Portland residents and businesses. They do this by monitoring, creating, and advocating for policies and legislation to support resident-informed growth. OCT also goes one step further by creating programs that ensure our most vulnerable residents are not left behind. Access to communications technology has never been more vital, especially for our residents who are experiencing economic instability. Through the Broadband and Digital Equity Program, OCT collaborates with businesses, nonprofits, schools, the library system, and the county to make computers and broadband service available to everyone, especially our most vulnerable populations and those who have suffered the effects of systemic racism, to ensure that everyone benefits from access to the internet. Their office is so small, how do they do it all? Small but mighty. OCT's independence means that it's able to maneuver to make the most of every opportunity. And OCT has strong relationships with the city attorney's office, the Smart Cities PDX team, PBOT, and other bureaus and partners. 
And don't forget, with the support of the mayor, city commissioners, and their staff, OCT can achieve the impact of a larger bureau while maintaining its ability to be nimble and responsive. And this ability to pivot quickly is critical because technology continues to evolve rapidly. And with it, the need for access to Portland's right-of-way. Portland's right-of-way is a local asset, but local authority over the public right-of-way has been under attack by the federal government and industry for years. The communications industry, led by national wireless carriers, uses our right-of-way to conduct their business, but wants to significantly decrease its rent payments to the city. If successful, this could result in increased taxes from local residents and businesses to make up the difference, or cuts to core services like public safety. Protecting local control and management over our right-of-way is more important than ever. OCT fights to ensure industry appropriately compensates the city for using the public's asset, that this compensation grows in pace with industry, and that the community fairly benefits from advances in technology. Wow, the public right-of-way is one of Portland's most valuable assets. Yeah, OCT's successful track record in franchising, licensing, right-of-way management, and national advocacy is well known. And with your support, OCT will continue its work to meet the needs of our community.